All right, this is the second video of my non-pizza reviews. So I'm going all frozen foods. Uh, quarantine's making me a little bit lazy. It's funny because when I'm at my parents' place, I cook for them all the time. But when I'm at my own place, I hate cooking. Um, so this will be a lasagna with meat sauce. Again, this is great value, which is, I don't know if it's unique to Walmart. I think it is. But Walmart's no name brand. These were six for uh, six for five dollars, so basically 80, 80 something cents a piece. Uh, Two hundred fifteen grams, pretty small. I'm uh, also reviewing uh, a fettuccine alfredo with chicken. Um, I'm eating both at the same time, but they will be separate reviews just for the sake of having more content. I don't think anybody's going to watch this. Um, I, I question why people watch this, but then I question everything I watch on YouTube, too, because I watch a lot of really stupid stuff. So we'll see how this goes. These take about five minutes to prepare, not even five minutes, I would say. Um, so um, this is just basically, you know, it's, it's a Mikalina's, but no name. All right. Okay, here we go. This is our, our lasagna with meat sauce. Great value lasagna with meat sauce. And I have already tried it, as is customary, because I don't want you guys to hear my jaw click. Um, kind of gross like that. Um, this isn't bad. The I recently tried the penne. Um, essentially, it's like fettuccine alfredo with chicken, but it's penne instead. And um, I actually like the penne quite a bit more from a texture standpoint in terms of the noodles. These noodles are nice and thin. The other one was a little thicker, a little bit more uh, chunkier. Um, to call this a meat sauce is a bit of a stretch. Uh, you'll see the occasional kind of clump of meat like this. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's not particularly meaty, but again, this thing costs 87 cents. I'm amazed that, well, pasta is one of the cheaper things to make, but I'm still amazed that people can make something for 87 cents. Um, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, the sauce is actually tastes a little bit more like tomato paste than tomato sauce to a certain degree at some points. It's a little... I always complain that there's things don't have enough flavor, and this definitely has flavor. It's just not my favorite of flavors. It tastes a little metallic and uh, really concentrated tomato flavor, but really inoffensive if you wanted to. And again, there's kind of... I'm looking at this 440 milligrams of your salt, so it's not quite as salty as the... Uh, the Alfredo thing, but um, I would probably toss a little cheese on this to make it a little bit more appealing. But again, for 87 cents, I can't imagine anybody going like, oh, that's gross. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a rating, not using my props like I do for my pizzas. I think this is slightly worse than the Alfredo thing. I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. Honestly, my ratings, uh, I know a lot of people give like a 1 out of 10 to certain things and whatnot. I rarely go below 5. For me, a, a f anything under 5 means I probably will never buy it again. Uh, a 5 means I will, I will only buy it if it's on a really big discount. Uh, and anything like in the 6 to 10 range, well, that just means either I love it or I just kind of tolerate it. This, I could absolutely buy again at $0.87. Cents. I don't think I would ever spend $1.50 for this or $2.00. But for 87 cents, I'll make that deal all day. Great value, properly named, decent food. Let's call it a video. What do you say? Well, you don't really get a say. Bye.